Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be painting a Chaos Knight. I'm going to be doing a Death Guard or Nurgle scheme on it. And I'm doing it a different way this time. Mostly dry brushing. And the first color we're starting out with is Rough Iron. And I just got it prime black. And I'm just dry brushing uh, Rough Iron on top of the whole model. This will be our, our uh, first layer. And we're just going to be working up with metallics. And as we go along, our dry brush will consistently get smaller with each layer. And the point is, I'm trying to do, you know, a scheme that's simple with as, you know, as few colors as possible to be the most effective to make a grungy type Nurgle scheme. So the next color I'm using is Shining Silver, and I'm dry brushing it right over top of that uh, rough iron. And this will just make our, our metallics look more dingy, having those uh, darker metallic undertones. Really hitting it hard on the trim, and then you know, just grazing over the uh, actual pad areas and on the pipes and stuff like that. And just catching the edge of most of everything, and we did that over the whole model. I have his arm separate because I uh, got it magnetized so you can either make a uh, rampager or I forget the other one but I got both the uh, arm options next I'm using ash gray now I'm dry brushing this with a smaller dry brush over top of the metallics to make it uh, just to make it a little more more faded over top and adding layers like this, since this is a matte color over a metallic, it'll almost give it like a, um, a hazy, you know, faded look. And when you're going for a weathered look, dry brushing is probably one of the, my favorite things to do. And we're just focusing mainly on the pad sections, not so much the trim. We want to, you know, separate that from the trim. And that's what it looks like after the ash gray over the pad sections on the trim. You can see it's already starting to break it up a little bit from the actual trim to the armor pieces and we're just three colors in so far and now I'm using goblin green and this is what I'm going to be using for our death guard color for our armor pieces and I'm just lightly building it up over top of that So that's what it's looking like so far with the goblin green over top and having that gray over top of that metallic just helps make that green a little bit more brighter or gives it a little more of a tarnished look but you can still see that metallic shining through and then for the highlight I'm using necrotic flesh and I'm using an even smaller dry brush and I'm really just focusing in on like raised areas and just giving some texture to the actual pads just to break it up a bit next I'm using Skelly Hide and I'm using this brush that's a little chewed up at different lengths on the bristles and I'm really just stippling and just creating more texture over top just 
just speckling it, making, giving it noise over top of that green. And that's what it's looking like so far. So far we've used two metallics, a gray, and three greens. And I really like the way the dry brush effect over the metallics look. Next I'm using dark stone and for all the little pikes sticking out on top, I'm going to be dry brushing those with the dark stone. I got the chain, the chains that swing in between there, and the cloth piece. I painted those separately, but I did the same type of scheme on those. And then I'm gonna use monster brown. This will be a highlight over the dark stone. And then I'm going to use skeleton, skeleton Bone, and this will be our highlight over the Monster Brown. And we're just hitting the very tips of them. Next I'm using Brain Matter Beige and I'm using this for all the actual uh, spikes, the bone spikes coming out, these pads, all the little horns. And that's what he's looking like so far. I also used it on some skulls and stuff hanging off of his armor. looking pretty cool quick and simple next I'm using uh, ultra matte varnish and I haven't done this before but I just wanted to you know add more texture to the armor this will basically uh, the ultra matte since I'm speckling it on there you know it'll have some spots be broke up and make it look like the armor is faded in certain spots and I really just want to make uh, make it uh, have layers you know and you can see here where I'm pointing at how you can see some shiny spots and then some of the matte spots from the ultra matte varnish that I basically just speckled on there I think it gives it a cool textured look over top of the green. Next I'm using an oil color 502 Aptalung engine grease. This stuff's really runny. I didn't thin it down at all. Just straight out the tube. And I'm just going in like a wash and darkening all the crevices around the trim and everything. And this will just give us an even more, you know, defined, dingy look in between all these pipes and things. And then I just use a sponge and wipe away excess just to bring back that green a little bit.
and then to bring back the silver on the pipes while leaving it dark in the cracks and crevices. And that's what it's looking like so far. So we did that for all the pads. And that's what it looks like with the, his sword or his chain sword attached. Same scheme on his uh, weapons. Same process with the green and the metallics. Went ahead and attached the chains and the cloth. I painted the cloth exactly how I did the horns on the on, his, uh, on the hood of him. And the chains are just rough iron with shining silver dry brush. So for the last thing I'm doing is I'm basing the lenses and this little window on the top with just matte white. And then I'm using game ink, uh, the green game ink. And I just started building up uh, color over top of that white. I did this in two passes and I just let it dry and then I went back and highlighted even smaller areas with the white and then I went back with uh, game ink again and just lightly spritzed it on there just to give it that glow effect but uh, that's pretty much it I uh, hope y'all liked the video thanks for watching and we'll see y'all next time thanks everybody for watching my video all my links will be in the description below don't forget to subscribe and we'll see y'all in the next one.